Considering it seems to be lobster roll season, there's two ways to go. There are traditional lobster rolls, then there's my untraditional, ultimate, grilled lobster roll. Guess which one we're making. We start by making the little butter sauce for the lobster. And to the little pot, we will add the following ingredients. Butter, a pinch of salt, then some celery salt, a little black pepper, a pinch of red pepper flake, one smash clove of garlic, juice of half a lemon. So it goes on the grill. We use the grill just like a stove. It works exactly the same way. We just want to melt this gently while we prep our lobster. Okay, so for today's ultimate grilled lobster roll, we're using lobster tails. And they're beautiful to deal with. They're simple, it's easy, but there's a certain way I like to do this. So get close and I'll show you how we want to cut these guys up. Okay, so here's the deal. Look at the top shell, the tail, and this bottom shell. So we're gonna take some good kitchen shears, good sturdy ones, put it just under the shell here. And we're gonna cut up the middle like this. Cut, cut, cut just until you get to the tail, not through the tail. Now we take a knife, we put it in this cut that we've made, like this, and we push down to this, I call this a breastplate, not through it, just to it. Out we come, and then we take our fingers and we help open up this little butterfly lobster job we've done, and we go like this and we open them up. And we repeat with the other two. So I've heard that the color of the lobster meat itself is dependent on the diet of that particular lobster. And these guys have clearly been eating tomatoes or pink cotton candy. Okay, probably not, but, but it does make a difference. In any case, the lobsters are ready, the butter's ready. Let's go to the grill. Okay, if you could smell this right now, just the garlic and the, the lemon juice and the red pepper flakes and the salt and the celery salt, but wait till it gets lobster and then the stuff we're gonna add and then the roll and then the, oh my gosh. Okay, so here's what we do. We take the lobster, we get some of this amazing butter, a quick baste, and then face down on the grill and repeat. Okay, so three, four minutes till there's some grill marks, we flip them on the back. Just you wait. And by the way, if you're like a traditional lobster roll fan, don't hate me. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Is that the thing to say? Wait, don't hate the game, hate the play. No, I don't want to be hated. Hate the, hate the game, not the player. Look at the gorgeous color of the shells. Okay, we're ready to flip them. Nice, amazing, tremendous. Okay, about three minutes on the back side, and then we're there, but we wanna baste them again first because butter with garlic and red pepper flakes, lemon juice is never a bad thing. Yes, there's a little fire, but that's not a bad thing. And when they're done, off they come. And while the tails rest for a second, we butter our buns that are these top split traditional. The only thing traditional I'm doing today is using a bun that looks like this. But we're gonna take some of this good garlic, chili, butter with the lemon. We're gonna put this face down on the Evo to get it beautifully golden. And while they get some color, we prep the lobster. Okay, so the lobster comes out like that, looking gorgeous. Hello, lobster. Beautiful. So we take this gorgeous lobster meat. We give it a, a rough chop. Look how beautiful that. I want to eat it like this, but don't. Resist the urge. Put it in a bowl, and here's what we add. Tiny squeeze of olive oil, some diced celery for a little crunch, some finely chopped dill for some crazy good flavor, some diced green onion or scallions, depending on where you live, and we mix. And we're ready to build. So we take the bun, perfectly golden, little bit brown, it's nice. First thing we add, little Japanese mayo. We know it as QP. 
Next, we're adding a little chili sauce. And this is the Americanized version, not Asian, not super spicy. It's like a super kicked up ketchup. Just a little bit. And now comes the lobster with the dill, with the celery, and the green onion. And for the final touch, a drizzle of some of the butter with the garlic, the red pepper, and the lemon, just to make it amazing. And clearly a bite is in order as it drips, butter. I've had a lot of lobster rolls and they were amazing. They were delicious, they were tremendous. But I'm gonna tell you right now, this will piss off a lot of lobster roll aficionados. I grilled it, I, I didn't uh, cook it in, in water. I added things to it that I shouldn't have. I'm just gonna say this, you want, you want this one. Look what I've got, that is a lobster roll. No, I'm not from the East Coast of the United States. No, I didn't grow up eating these. But oh my God, that, the butter, the garlic, the dill, the green onion, the red pepper flake, here's where you wanna be. Hit subscribe so you get this before everybody else gets it. Well, the same time other people that have subscribed gets it, but still you get it early. Thanks for hanging out. Tell your friends about us. See ya.